What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Another change of scenery. Just want to uh, wrap up this video we did today. You guys know got I picked up that die gun a couple weeks ago. Been uh, using it where I can, when I can, all that stuff. But I, it's got some great features. I want to get a couple of the features out there. You guys may or may not know what this tool does. Um, it's got its pros and cons. Uh, I'm going to do a full you know, review after using it, getting it out there a while. Uh, but for the most part, just running through some of the features it has. Obviously, you guys know it does a bunch of stuff. So real quick, before we switch over to, you know, earlier in the week at the shop, I did a uh, uh, battery registration on the BMW that I had gotten. Um, knocked it out no problem, but, you know, obviously between some of the features of, you know, coding keys, steering angle reset, oil reset, you know, it's not just a you know, a bi-directional tool. You could do these research, you could do those procedures, you know, uh, throttle body adaptation, you know, reset fuel trims. I mean, this tool pretty much handled it all. Some of the only downsides I've ran into it is, you know, the load up time, some of the boot up time going through those pits. I t talk about it in the, you know, in the clip here that I'm about to show you guys, but for the most part, seems good. I'm going to give you guys a full review on this thing. We're probably going to compare this thing to the Snap-on Varus. Um, show you guys how to do steering angle reset uh, this one here is the battery registration show you guys how to do maybe some key coding we'll see what comes into the shop these next couple weeks but get into it check it out shut up and sit down <laughs> all right guys so just as we talked about I got the I got the launch, got the new battery in. This I can already tell it's gonna be a pain. Got the battery in the back, installed the new interstate. We're gonna register this thing with the launch. The Digon does do battery register. You know, I'm not sure this one being a 2003, if it needs it. I always like to do them when I do these batteries in the BMWs. Um, you know, get that battery registered, do it proper. But we're gonna get you set up, we're gonna see how this, uh, it's gonna be my first time on this one, registering a battery with this. We're gonna see how long it takes and if it's able to pull it off. All right, let's go ahead and launch the app. We got BMW, got the key on. I noticed, I noticed with the Diagon, you know, it, it, it's a pretty strong scanner. I, I definitely like the size, you know, the versatility of it and all that stuff. I noticed on some of the domestics, it takes a while to, uh, you know, connect. You know, the load up time is a little ridiculous. But for the most part, I mean, it is pulling up a lot of modules. It is pulling up a lot of PIDs. You know, it does properly go through all the car for you. Um, so it's, it's expected. But... You know, if this if it gets out of hand with the loading, I'm gonna go ahead and edit some of this out to respect your guys' time. Get up in the uh, get up in the menu here, and then I'll show you guys where uh, where to find to uh, register these batteries on these. We're probably gonna edit some of this out. All right, guys. So we hit this screen. This is where you get your health report, run codes. You got your special functions. You're gonna go to body for the battery, and it's here's all your options. And like I said, this thing is, you know, a pretty powerful tool. It's got a lot of them in here. Um, battery. Uh, it's not alphabetical order. Uh, battery register. Register battery replacement. And it'll take us through the process here. It says, it says, what do you wish to do? Display history of battery replacement, register battery replacement, and end service function. So we're going to go to AGM battery is installed. Go well, yes. After charging for normal lead acid battery, AGM battery, always en enter change in vehicle until with the battery tool. Yes. And then uh, the battery replacement is entered to the power module. And the next step, attention, entry cannot be canceled. So go enter battery replacement. 
hit continue and it'll take you through it the battery re replacement was successfully entered in the power module the following data are now entered in the power module last battery replacement at 110 kilometers second last so it looks like they've never even registered a battery before after this um, maybe one time original battery I'm not sure if the one I pulled out was original it wasn't interstate so I highly highly doubt it hit continue service function finished so that's simple I mean it takes more time it loading up and you know finding the menu than it does to actually do the, the registration of the battery so that's it so as you guys see it pretty much knocked the BM out no problem um, you know a lot of it's you know finding finding the function you're going to through the menus and you know where what's where and the layout of it you know that's some of the issues I've been having with it but like I said at the beginning you guys we're gonna be giving a full run through on this one you know as soon as I get the right content out there on some of these cars where we can use the bi-directional features you know if, if it's a simple process if it's a simple diag obviously you know I can make content but I want I want to really put out there where this thing shines um, you know get that problematic car in the shop and you know break the diagon out and see what really you know really what it's about on those you know hard to figure out cars those hard to diet cars you know some of this stuff is uh you know these cars come in i kind of know what's wrong with them before they even get there just by looking at them or scanning going off a of code but uh you know it handles it all it's a great little scanner just get a little bit out there here and there on you till we get this comparison video and out there on one good bi-directional on there but i'll leave the links down in the description where you guys can pick this thing up at it's a great tool. As always, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Catch you guys in the next one. Signing out.